Yes, uh, we were uh, just discussing about uh, the RDT concepts. So, basics of RDT we just discussed. We will continue with the uh, reliable data transfer concepts. Okay. So, we have here our uh, application layer at the top, then the transport layer comes and then here the below layer is network layer. Right. So, as the message is received at the transport layer, in the transport layer now, RDT send is the first operation that is evoked, invoked. So, this uh, RDT send you can call it as an event occurring. So, what is the event occurring here? It is just as the message is received from the application layer, RDT send is the operation or the uh, event that is invoked. So, when you invoke this RDT send operation, the meaning is you have to now send this message, whatever is received just now, that data now should be converted into segments and after the segments are created, that segment should be converted into packet and that packet should be sent to the below layer here and what is the below layer here? It is network layer. See here, students, I am speaking about transport layer running at the sender side only. Okay, you can just see here send means what? We are here, here we are at the sending side. So, at the sender, we have the application layer where the user types the message and that typed message is sent to the uh, transport layer here at the sending side. And once it is received at the transport layer, TCP will take over anymore and the TCP will convert this message into segments and that segments will be uh, uh, later uh, sent to the next below layer at the sending side and that below layer here is network layer right so here immediately as the data is available at the transport layer rdt send operation is invoked and when this event is uh, once this event is invoked immediately the action that has to be uh, uh, that action that has to be performed here is creation of the packet that means what the message or the data that is received should be converted into packet by the tcp and that converted packet should be then sent to the uh, next layer that is network layer and here we are still at the sending side and once the packets are sent to the network layer and then we can say that the packets now are now ready to be sent to the uh, which, which which side receiving side right and you can see here there is a channel shown see here Mm, this is a reliable channel that is shown between sender and receiver. This is a sender and this is a receiver. So, what is that reliable channel? Who builds that reliable channel? It is the TCP or TCP's responsibility to build the reliable channel. Reliable means what? Trustworthy. So, sender, between the sender and receiver, there is a trustworthy channel. And principles of RDT I have already explained how TCP ensures the reliability. But here you can see at the network layer, this is a transport layer at the sending side and this is a transport layer at the receiving side but in between them you can see here the next layer is what the network layer so network layer cannot provide reliability so instead it provides what unreliable channel that means what network layer cannot provide the you know, ordered delivery service or it can be the error mechanism service all those services network layer cannot provide so it provides actually unreliable channel so you can just see here some of the operation at the sending side what about that the receiving side at the receiving side again who will receive see receiving side it is from bottom to top correct so sending side is just from top to bottom whereas at the receiving side first physical layer will receive then data link layer, then network layer so once the net network layer receives the data it is in the form of packets and from the network layer at this receiving side it will be sent to the upper layer. What is that upper layer? It is transport layer. Now, here also TCP is running. So, any more TCP will take over at the receiving side. So, here you can see event that is performed. What is that? As and when the packets are received, RDT receive is the event that is invoked at the um, uh, receiving side. And here, once this RDT receive is invoked, immediately the TCP should ensure that the data that is received in order and it is uh, in the proper format that is not corrupted or something. So, once once the data is proper, what the TCP should do? Extract the packet, extract the message out of the packet and that extracted data should be delivered to the upper layer. So, which is upper layer here at the receiver side finally? It is application layer. So, finally the user is going to read that message. So, delivery of data is done at the receiver side. 
so tcp only should deliver the final data to the uh, receiver at the receiving side okay so here the operations please you remember at the sending side two operation rdt send and udt send so what is this udt send indicates udt means what unreliable data transfer so the moment you invoke this udt send the meaning is you have converted the data or the message into the packet and that packet you are transferring to the next below layer that is network layer and the network layer actually provides unreliable channel or you can say here unreliable data transfer will happen at the network layer so udt send is with respect to the network layer actually but rdt send is what with respect to transport layer that means what tcp once the data or the message is available from the or available at the transport layer from the application layer once the data is available that message will be uh, converted into a reliable format and that will be converted into a packet and that packet will be sent now to the next layer that is with respect to network layer now so udt send is the operation which is invoked at the sender side similarly the receiving side who is going to take over so from the network layer to transport and from the network layer yeah that is uh, to the transport layer it is uh, sent data is sent so rdt receive is the event that is invoked so at the transport layer and you can see once this operation is invoked now the packet is ready to be extracted and once the packet is extracted the next operation is deliver data so the meaning is the data that or the message that is extracted will be delivered to the application layer so these operations you please remember and these operations we are going to use here uh, for the further uh, 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 analysis okay so we'll just go to the next one now we here we'll start with the rdt concept that is reliable data transfer concepts so you can see here uh, first the first very first this is just a repetition okay so first very first operation is what rdt send as in when the application is uh, application layer sends the message to the transport layer so that message will be sent here so the moment uh, this function is invoked when this function is invoked when the data is available from the application layer so once this is invoked now what 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 should be done next uh, you should be converted into packet and once the packet is ready uh, udt send is the operation that is called at the transport layer that means the packet is now it's ready to be transferred to the network layer through the unreliable channel so once uh, the data is uh, transferred you can say till here we are still at the sender side once the data is transferred over the network layer that is over the unreliable channel uh, we will go directly go to the receiver end and once the data is available here at the network layer the packet will be transferred to the transport layer so immediately up here upon receiving it will invoke rdt receive and once the rdt receive is invoked sorry once the RDT receive is invoked, next the uh, receiver will receive the content of the message and that content will be extracted and that extracted content will be delivered to the final layer that is topmost layer that is application layer at the receiving side. So this is happening at the receiving site okay so we will uh, just continue now okay so this entire concept what we have discussed so far let's convert or let's let's represent it with the help of a fsm so that what is fsm finite state machine so a state diagram let's just draw a state diagram to represent all these uh, concepts of rdt so how do we represent it with the help of a state diagram we'll just see so here we will represent two states what is that state one so state one uh, uh, we will just uh, uh, now discuss the state diagram with respect to sender okay so sender sender will have always one state what is that state sending state correct now so sender's job is to send the data so sender's job is to send the data so sending state is the first state after sending what the sender will do sender will wait for the acknowledgement to arrive right so this tcp is something like a handshaking concept is there. i mean handshaking concept is basically uh, implemented here so that means sender will send the data and wait for the acknowledgement only after the acknowledgement is received sender will send the next data right so here state one in indicates the sender sending state state 2 indicates the sender waiting for the acknowledgement so after sending the data he will wait for the acknowledgement so senders after sending the data he will move on to the next state and the next state is waiting for the acknowledgement to arrive so this representation of the sender is uh, done using uh, the state diagram correct similarly that applies for the receiver also so what the receiver will do receiver also will have the same states so receiver state is receiving the data so once he receives the data next next state is what we will move on to the next state what is that sending the uh, uh 
Uh, waiting for the next data to arrive. So once he receives the data, his next job is send the acknowledgement. So after sending the acknowledgement, what is he supposed to do? He will wait for the next data to arrive. Correct. So these are the different states of the receiver. So this is uh, how you represent the state diagram. You can just see here. Mm, uh, state is represented using a, a oval type of uh, shape. Okay, not oval exactly, a circle. Exactly, circular, circle, uh, state, circular state you have to represent, uh, that is a state and then uh, you can see there is an arrow mark showing from one state to the other state, that is the state transition is shown. So, what do you mean by state transition? So, state transition is shown something like this. Uh, whenever an event performs, corresponding action should take place. So, you can see here, when uh, when the transition takes place, suppose if I am speaking with, in, with respect to sender, senders, when he exactly changes state, or transition state, state transition happens from state 1 to state 2. When is it? After sending the data, right? So, sender first sends the data and then he waits for the acknowledgement to arrive. So, you can see here, event causing state transaction in this case is sending the data. So, sending the data is the RDT send, you can say. That is the data that uh, uh, operation or the event occurring here. And what is the action that has to be performed here? First, send the data. RDT send is the event. And what is the corresponding action that has to be taken? That is, with respect to sender. Here, we are speaking with respect to sender. So, once the sender sends the data, how is he sending the data? He has to create a packet and that packet should be sent to the network layer at the sending side. How is he sending to the uh, sending the packet to the network layer? With the help of an operation, UDT send. Correct, no? So, event upon here, event occurring is what? The state initially initially the state will be uh, you can say it's a rest state initially so once the data is available from the application layer that is from the top layer once the message is available immediately an event should occur what is that event rdt send is the event so what mean what in the rdt message is ready from the application layer that message should be now sent to the network layer so how do you send that net message to the network layer till now i'm speaking about the above the horizontal line now below the horizontal line what should the action perform for the event rdt send the action that is below the horizontal line you should specify that once the message is ready you should convert that message into the packet and that converted packet that means you have to create a packet and that packet now should be sent to the network layer at the sending cell and how do you send to the network layer UDT send is the operation UDT send is the action that has to be taken here so here these are the actions that you have to specify below the horizontal line the moment you invoke that you will be moved on to the next new state and that new state is waiting for the acknowledgement to arrive. You will assume that the data is sent from the sender side. Now, the receiver will receive and he will send back the acknowledgement. So, what acknowledgement he will send? Either positive acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement acknowledgement right so after sending after the acknowledgement is arrived here after the acknowledgement is arrived here again the sender will change the state the state back to the state one so what is that the state one indicates waiting for the message to arrive and that message once it is arrived it will move on to the next state of waiting for an acknowledgement that means what once the acknowledgement is arrived what the sender will do he will uh, he, he will just wait for the next message to arrive from the application layer once the message is arriving from the top layer again he will send that message to the next layer. So, again after sending that message, you will move to the new state of waiting for acknowledgement. This is how the state transition takes place. Okay, this is how you write FSM or the state transition diagram, finite state machine.